Okay, okay, we're here at a church building in Maryland, ready to do a strip and wax. We just moved everything out of the meeting room, and I want to show you where we put everything, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the floor. So here we had to move all the pews, a lot of them here, put chairs over there, and watch this runner. I'm going to stage my extractor here when we get near the end. So I taped off some of these doorways so I don't get any splash there. Hopefully that blue tape won't be a problem for any uh, color loss. There's my two workers in the corner. I don't know why. There's my extractor, Nautilus MXC. Took the vents off. I was going to tape those, but I figured I got a black scrubby pad over those, so we'll kind of go light on the stripper there. Uh, so we picked everything out of here, and you can see this is this tile is um, kind of scratched up and dirty, and this is where all the seats were. Uh, this tile has never been waxed, so the factory finish is on here, and factory finish is just to protect the tiles from sticking together when they transport them. That's what I understand. Um, so this should have been probably stripped and waxed, scrubbed and waxed uh, shortly, shortly after they installed the tile. So this machine, this unit's going to stay here. So you can see there's some dirt here, some scuffs. Part of this is tile, though. That's the tile, tile design. There's some dirt here, things like that. Uh, scuffs. Those should come right up. But if the tile doesn't have any finish on it, we could have some staining in here that's going to be tougher to get up or maybe knock it up. So the purpose of the wax and sealers is to protect the tile uh, and keep it long lasting because it's very chalky and dry and has some porosity to it. But overall, it doesn't look too bad. There's some, looks like glue there. I'm not sure if that's going to come up. It's going to be tough. So it's almost like rust there. Uh, we're just taking a look at some of this stuff. That's gum. That should, that's gum. Oh boy. So we're going to have to pry that gum up without prying the top. Go ahead. Use your fingernail. Uh, so we'll be doing one part up there and I'm going to take a look at it and see if it looks good. Then we're going to do this part back here. Okay, here we go.